Hey guys, um, a couple months ago, uh, when I was at our Oregon place, we went fishing and caught a lot of rockfish, lingcod, halibut, <clears throat> and salmon. So we're back in Wyoming. Uh, this winter we'll be heading back to, uh, to Oregon. But I've got some, some salmon and some rockfish, and I uh, want to smoke it today. Um, I did the salmon about oh, a month or so ago with this new little smoker uh, tube that I got, and it worked really well, really cheap on the internet. Um, pellet smoker tube is what it's called, and uh, it doesn't use hardly any pellets. This will last four or five hours, enough to do your smoking, and boy, it's really inexpensive. So I thought I would do some rockfish and salmon with this dry rub, which is uh, something that most people use, uh, a, a, you know, wet brine, but this just makes it easy and simple. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. I've never done the rockfish before, so it's kind of a new challenge for me. And we'll see how it turns out. All right. All right, so what we have here is our ingredients. We have a half a cup of kosher salt, half a cup of sugar, half a cup of dark brown sugar, one tablespoon of crushed black peppercorns, and we got about four fillets, I think four fillets of rockfish and two, fillet, and two actually steaks of salmon. That's all I had at the house here. You know, the rest of it has been consumed. So what we're gonna do is add all these together. So I got the Morton's kosher salt. And I already had this all measured out, make it easier, and the sugar. And the brown sugar, and then the peppercorns. But I'm gonna have to go in the garage and crush these up before we continue. Well, this isn't real scientific, but um, it's the way I did it last time. Seems to work okay. Just don't hit it too hard; you'll put a hole in your bag. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, let's go mix this in. All right, so we're gonna put the peppercorns in now. I'm gonna mix this all up. I usually use my hands. My wife said it's not cool, so I'm going to use a spoon instead. I think I may have having to use my hands here since this brown sugar is kind of lumpy. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> okay, I need something to pour this in, hon. I guess I can just leave it in. I guess I can just leave it here. Okay. All right. So there's that. So the next thing we need to do, is we already did this in advance, is you just put some tin foil down. Let's see if you can see that. And then what we're going to do is we put some some uh, saran wrap on top of that. And then what you're going to do is take about a third of this or so and just spread it on here like that I think we're gonna do the salmon in one and we'll do the the bass in another one keep them separate okay all right so we got the salmon out they're pretty small pieces I thought they're these are fillets they're not steaks but there were some pin bones in here, and it's good to get those pin bones out. I just use a pair of tweezers and just pluck them out of there, and they come out pretty darn easy. So we only have two pieces of salmon left. Like I say, we ate the rest of it. But anyway, what we're going to do is just set it in the salt here like this, or the mixture, I should say, like that. Make sure it gets on there pretty good. And then we'll get some more of the seasoning put that in and rub it in good a 
I think we we're going to have plenty. I thought we had more fish than this, but. And what you should do in the next one, you should have another piece here and maybe put them on top of each other like that so it real seals it in, you know, really good. But I think what we'll do is we're just going to do this here. Put those together like that. Yeah, make sure it's covered real well. Okay, then you're going to take your wax or your saran wrap here. Cover it up like that. And like that. And put it together like this. Okay, then we'll need a bowl to put this in. Oh, all right. I'll, I'll get it. Okay, and what you want to do is put something heavy on top of that, just so it kind of pushes stuff together. I think last time we used a phone book or we used a couple cans of, of uh, beans or something, I don't know. All right, so now we'll do the same thing with a fish. Some of these pieces are so thin they're going to cook a lot faster, especially a lot faster than the salmon will. Yeah, to really make this more profitable, you probably ought to use more fish than what I'm doing here, but since that's all the salmon we have and this rockfish is actually kind of a new thing for us, so I don't know how it's going to work. Well, you know what? I'll just pour all the rest of this on here since I don't have any more fish. I don't think it'll hurt anything. Stack these just like the other ones, though, I think. Best we can. Okay. I, don't know if I did that one correct, but as long as they're covered up, sealed. Okay. There's not a lot of fat in these rockfish, so I don't know. See, <clears throat> see how it works. Okay, there we go. Now we'll stick it in here. We'll go like this. Put some underneath in case they drip a little bit. It's okay. So now what they're going to do, we're going to put this in the refrigerator for 24 hours, 12 to 24 hours, and just let it uh, adhere into the into the meat. And then tomorrow we will wash it off and smoke it. Okay. Okay, we'll unwrap them now. There's a lot of water in these, I'm really surprised. As much as it came out. So, we'll 
this is the salmon. Pretty good. You know, we should dry these off with a couple paper towels. What we want to do now is is let them let them dry well. And uh, They get a, a tacky if you let them set for a couple hours, which you're supposed to do, and it's called pellicle. And it helps the, the smoke adhere to it because it gets kind of tacky. So that's what we'll do. And what we're going to do is put a fan on them. It'll help speed up the process a little bit. And they say don't put it back in the refrigerator um, just because there's a lot of moisture in the refrigerator. So we're just going to leave them out on the kitchen counter. All right, so here's the rockfish. Boy, look at all that salt on those. They are, they feel like a piece of beef jerky. I don't think it's gonna take long for these to cook. Okay, they're almost dwindled down to just about nothing. Dry these off a little bit more. I'll just leave them on the rack by themselves. Save these paper towels. All right, we can see the, the amount of liquid that was in there. Kind of unbelievable for a dry rub. All right, so now we are going to go over here. This fan on. Dry them. I think in a house that's warm like this, it, I don't bet it's not going to take an hour to get these dry. And when they dry out, we'll put them on the on the grill. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, we're using this new uh, pellet smoker tube. It's pretty small, 12 inches by two by two inches. And it'll work in, in any smoker, or any grill I should say, barbecue grill. Um, this is what it looks like. Just a little hole in the end of it. And uh, it's perforated. Just fill it just about all the way full and then uh, Light it with a propane torch seems to be the easiest. It takes it takes a minute or so, and I'm using some mesquite. I just bought this online the same time I bought the the uh, the tube smoker, and, and it's more expensive. The the pellets were more expensive than the, the tube smoker, but anyway, um, I don't know who makes this, but anyway, I think it's going to work good. They're made for Traeger. That's what it, that's what it is. So that's what we're going to fill it with and get to cooking. Okay, so we've got this filled up. A what? A smudge on the camera. Doesn't matter. Okay. We've got this filled up. We're just going to heat it up with this torch. Oops. As you can see, I put some bricks in here um, just to hold this up off the 
to hold it up off the, uh, the grill. And then I'm going to turn the grill on and probably turn the heat on very low. It's supposed to be like 150, 160 maybe. But I found out once you get the bricks hot and then this, it keeps it the perfect temperature. You can turn the gas off. So it's kind of cool. So anyway, I'm going to try to light this. We've got a nice windy day here in Wyoming. I guess I'd have turned the gas on first. Which is really not unusual. Be getting it. Okay, it's starting now. We'll do a little bit more. Like I say, it'll it'll last around four hours. So we're just gonna set this in here. Just like that. And then what I'm gonna do in the back. Just to help keep the smoke in a little bit. Got kind of a little hole in the gap. Well, here it is. It looks good. I tore a little piece of this off and it looks really moist, if you can see that. Oh yeah. That's really good. Nice and moist, flaky. Got a lot of good flavor to it. I have to say I cheated a little bit. I had to taste the rockfish when I took it off. And because it was so thin, I think, it didn't have a smoky flavor to it. It's done, well done, almost like jerky, some of the pieces. But it was, it was way too salty too, way too salty. I should have rinsed it longer. You don't even see how thin those pieces are. Um, you can see it looks pretty dry. I mean, if you like salty fish, <laughs> it's pretty good. I think if I did it again, I would do a little different brine, maybe not so much salt. Wow. Wow. Well, I guess it's a video for next time. But the salmon's delicious. Can't beat the salmon. Well, I have to apologize. I don't know what happened. Um, somehow the audio and the on the video just didn't turn out. I, you know, I got this new GoPro, and I guess I'm not real efficient with it. I think I bumped a button or something. But anyway, um, I took that uh, the fish off probably about an hour and a half into it, and it just didn't have the flavor. It was pretty well done. I'm so sorry about the the, the volume on that. The 
the uh, salmon though, it, it yeah, I guess it was about just close to three hours, but it had good flavor. The wind played havoc with me. I couldn't keep the temperature right. It would go up and then the wind would blow it out and then it would go up and the wind would blow it out so it wasn't real even. But um, that's just the way it is. So anyway, um, hope you kind of liked the video. Um, subscribe. I got a lot more coming. I'm just starting this. And give me a like if you want. All right. See you. Bye.